In the previous part of this episode, we explained at length about the Biafra movement and the historical roots of the crisis. The ethnic divisions in Nigeria and the resultant tensions have had a lasting impact on the country's socio-political circumstances. Our leader, Mazin Namdekano, said, all those international media who refuse to talk about Biafra must to talk about Biafra. Say so it is a matter of time. They must talk about Biafra. Now listening to this, uh, this media, listening to this woman and hear what she has to say about Biafra. Just calm down and listen. In the previous part of this episode, we explained at length about the Biafra movement and the historical roots of the crisis. The ethnic divisions in Nigeria and the resultant tensions have had a lasting impact on the country's socio-political circumstances. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Pulse of Africa with me, Ananya Sharma. Let's begin. We had earlier discussed how the Biafran leaders used the issue of malnutrition to gain political support overseas. So now, it's important to examine where the whole Biafra crisis stands today and what implications it can have for the future of Nigeria. Let's dig deeper. In recent years, the Biafra movement has gained renewed momentum with the emergence of various groups and organizations advocating for a separate Biafra Republic. One of the most prominent of these groups is the Indigenous People of Biafra or the IPOB, which was founded in 2014 by Namadi Kanu, a British Nigerian political activist. As the director of a United Kingdom registered radio station named Radio Biafra, he propagated Biafra separatism. He was also arrested in 2015 on charges of treason, but was released on bail in 2017 and fled Nigeria. He played a major role in the insurgency in southeastern Nigeria. To quell the activities of the IPOB and curb secessionism, the Nigerian military had also launched an operation code named as Operation Python Dance 2 in 2017 in the southeastern region of Nigeria, where the indigenous people of Biafra are based. In 2021, Interpol arrested Kanu again and handed him over to Nigeria. Kanu has also been a mentor to Simon Ekpa, another controversial leader of the Biafra movement who was reportedly arrested recently at his home in Finland. Simon Ekpa allegedly used social media to incite violence and Nigeria's government had previously asked Finland to act against him. Nigeria's government has already proscribed IPOB and a court has designated it a terrorist organization. Regarding the general elections in Nigeria, the IPOB did not participate in the 2019 general elections and called for a boycott of the elections, urging Igbo people not to participate in the country's politics. However, the call for boycott received mixed reactions, with some heeding the call, while many others participating in the 2023 elections in Nigeria. In a viral video, Simon Ekpa imposed a sit-at-home protest and curfew on the southeast and some parts of the old eastern region during the election, but his call for boycott was decried by many. For instance, the Igbo Elders Consultative Forum stated that anyone calling for a sit-in or boycott of the general elections would be treated and regarded as an enemy of the Igbo nation. The call was also denounced on the grounds that it would create fear and disenfranchise the community. In the previous episode, we informed our viewers about France's active support for the Biafra movement initially. France sent $30 million worth of material to Biafra and lent Ivory Coast President $3 million to aid Biafra operations. According to some reports, France secretly armed Biafra in a bid to weaken British and US alliance in Africa. While Nigeria's former colonial ruler Britain backed the One Nigeria policy, it covertly provided weapons and military intelligence. France's tactic in this crisis was not to recognize Biafra diplomatically, but to support its just and noble cause. To sum it up, France also supported Biafra primarily to secure its own interests and gain an economic foothold in the oil-rich Niger Delta. The former French president Charles de Gaulle chose a limited strategy for two reasons. One, if Biafra won the war, France would be Biafra's greatest ally. And if Nigeria won the war, France could extricate itself from the situation relatively easily and re-establish relations. However, after initially providing support to the Biafra movement, France later had to withdraw its support for many reasons. 
One of the most important reasons was the international pressure created by the Nigeria's government and other countries on France to put an end to its support. Further, France's support to Biafra also strained its relations with Nigeria, which is a major supplier of oil to France. And French companies had invested heavily in the Nigerian economy. Thus, France later ruled out any support for the secession of any part of the country and acknowledged that Biafra has no support. France's ambassador to Nigeria, Denis Guayer, said that France would not in any way work with any group agitating for the dismemberment of the nation. With France's withdrawal of support, the Biafra movement has lost a major Western sympathizer that had supported it in many ways earlier. There was a time when France used francophone states, that is Ivory Coast and Gabon, as conduits and cover to provide unused stocks of weapons left from the Second World War to Biafra. In any case, Nigeria is one of the fastest growing economies in Africa with a large and diverse economy and it remains an important player in the economic landscape of the continent. Apart from vast natural resources like oil and gas, it is also an attractive destination for foreign investments. Thus, seceding from such a country can prove to be counterproductive in the long run. Although many claim that support for Biafra has waned in recent years, for an example, the call to boycott the recent Nigerian elections did not receive as much support as the leaders would have imagined. However, with countries taking back its support, will the Biafra movement last long is something what we will answer in the next video.